Hey YouTube, this is LodiReezy22. Um, I want to first start off by thanking all of my subscribers and everybody who have supported my channel in the past two years. I finally obtained a partnership, so that's good news. Um, this is the first tutorial of my new series that I have started. So if you guys don't know already, every Monday is a beat for collab. Every Wednesday is a tutorial. And every Friday is a remake with FLP file. So you guys can count on those being uploaded on the days that I have specified. Also, you will see updates. So people, everybody have known already what this tutorial was about on Monday. So you guys get to know what is coming up. So that's a good thing. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about panning again. Um, basically, people still have questions about how to pan each specific note the way I do in some of my songs that I do. So we're going to go deep into most of the features that are in the piano bar, the piano roll. And the piano roll is what we're looking at right now. So by default, you would be either looking at this or you'd be looking at this. So the way to get to the piano roll is you would just come up here and it says view piano roll in this little box right here. So you click it and you're here. Or if you have multiple patterns like I do, you can right click and then go select send to piano roll. That's your kick. Or if it doesn't show, or if you don't see these dots, you just click the green area and it brings you here. So this tutorial is about panning, so we're going to talk mainly about that, but I want to go over a couple other features first. So your note velocity is where it's at default. What this does is it uh, changes the level of the note, so volume-wise. So this is loudest to quiet. So we're going to preview this. the other way up. It's quiet to loud. By default it's set at 75%. So right in the middle. So the point of this is to add some attack to a couple notes that you may choose. So. So that's your note, your uh, note velocity. Your note release, this doesn't work for your hats, but it will work for most instruments. When you move up, it will basically sustain out the note. If you move it down, it makes it a little more punchy. Um, that's mainly if you're using strings or something. Your filter cutoff frequency, um, Basically, this just changes, you know, the frequency. Alright. And basically the same with... Well, hold on one second. So you have your filter resonance. And this is pretty much... The opposite is the other one. Alright. I don't really play with those too much, but they're kind of fun. Uh, your fine pitch. Um, basically with this, you can change the pitch of a specific note by a little bit. If for some reason it doesn't sound right and you don't want to 
go up here and change it so like I can show you we'll change the pitch of those two and you'll hear Have your channel well hold on and then you have your channel panning channel volume and channel pitch these things you can change from your uh, step sequencer over here so obviously the left knob is your channel panning so you can pan the whole thing left or right you know and then your second knob is your channel volume and it shows the decibels and the percentage right up here as I'm moving it. And then you have uh, your channel pitch. Obviously, you can change the pitch of the whole uh, the whole thing. So, like, say you're trying to get to here, you don't have to move everything up, even though it's quicker to just move it than to change the pitch down here. So, bring this back to normal. Alright, so back to panning. So, your note pan. Hold on one second. And bring this back down in the middle. So, basically, it's playing everything in the middle. But that gets boring, you know, so you want to actually like pan out some, time, some things so that you're not stuck in the middle of everything. So obviously you move up, that would be right. So that moves to the right 50%, you know, 75%, 100%. Alright, left, right, left. So basically, we can take these little runs and pan them certain ways. And then I'm going to bring this one from complete left to complete right. I'm going to bring this one back down. And then this little five run. We're going to play with this. And let's hear what this sounds like. And you can just keep playing with it until you find a level that you like. Alright. So add some little character to the beat. I'll play this pattern that I put together. As you can see, it cut off a couple things. So, basically, um, I mean, that's everything. You just can pan everything however you want. But this just to show you guys how to pan each note. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but each dot down here on the green bar, each dot represents a note. So you minus a note, dot disappears. Add a note, dot appears. So, uh... Um, if this tutorial has helped you at all, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.